Welcome to Panasur Chemistry class. Today we will study rate expression for first order reaction. Let us consider reaction A gives product. A gives product. Now, when time was 0, the initial concentration of A is a small A and that of product is 0. As the reaction proceeds, the concentration of A decreases and that of product increases. Let at time t the concent remaining concentration of A be A minus X and that of product is X. Now as it is a first order re reaction, the rate law can be given as rate is equals to dx upon dt is equals to k1 into A minus X. Say it as equation number 1. Now separating variables, we get dx upon A minus X is equals to k1 into dt say it as equation number 2 on integrating equation number 2 on integrating equation number 2 we get integration of dx upon a minus x is equals to k1 into integration of dt so that comes minus log of a minus x is equals to k1 t plus c so this c is integration constant c is integration constant the value of c can be determined the value of c can be determined by putting initial conditions by putting initial conditions at t is equals to 0 x is equals to 0 so you can see here at t is equals to 0 x was 0 therefore therefore from equation number 3 we have minus log of a minus 0 is equals to k1 into 0 plus c carefully note that at a minus x we put a minus 0 k1 t we put k1 into 0 therefore value of c is c is equals to minus log of a said as equation number 4 now substitute the value of c from equation number 4 into equation number 3 therefore from equation number 3 and equation number 4 we get minus log of a minus x is equals to k1 t plus c so instead of c it is minus log of a therefore k1 t is equals to minus log of a minus x plus log of a so this minus log of a will go towards left hand side becomes positive so therefore k1 t is equals to log of a divided by a minus x or k1 is equals to 1 upon t into log of a divided by a minus x okay so this equation number 5 is integrated rate expression for first order reaction now this natural law can be converted to the log to the best end by multiplying by 2.303 therefore k1 is equals to 2.303 divided by t into log of a divided by a minus x so this equation is integrated rate expression for first order reaction now let us go for its characteristics so characteristic number one that is unit of rate constant k1 okay now we have equation for k1 as k1 is equals to 1 upon t into log of a divided by a minus x so a is a concentration a minus x is concentration it is time therefore for units we have k1 is equals to 1 upon time into concentration divided by concentration so concentration get cancelled it have just time as a unit or unit of k1 is per unit time so they are per second 
per hour per day and so on okay so let us go for the characteristic number 2 so the characteristic number 2 is the unit of rate constant and value of rate constant does not depend upon concentration units if you see here uh, first characteristic k1 is equal to 1 by time that is unit is per second so it don't have any concentration unit. therefore the unit of rate constant and value of rate constant does not depend upon concentration let us go for the characteristic number 3 characteristic number 3 half life the time taken to complete a certain fraction it may be half or 1/4 uh, or 1/3 of the reaction is independent of initial concentration of the reactant suppose that t half is the half life thus at t half x will be equals to a by 2 therefore put these values into that equation k1 is equals to 2.303 divided by t half into log of a divided by a minus x so instead of x right a by 2 so that becomes 2.303 divided by t half into log of a divided by a by 2 okay so a get cancelled it becomes 2.303 divided by t half into log of 2 okay therefore the value of log of 2 is 0.3010 therefore substitute the value of log of 2 2.303 into 0.3010 divided by t half we get this multiplication as 0.693 divided by t half okay so therefore k1 is equals to 0.693 divided by t half so if you see this equation it don't contain any concentration term therefore t half is equals to 0.693 divided by k1 therefore half life does not depend upon initial concentration Okay, let us go for the examples of first order reaction. The first example is inversion of cane sugar. Inversion of cane sugar. So the first example of first order reaction is inversion of cane sugar. So the inversion of cane sugar takes place in the presence of an acid which acts as a catalyst and is given as C twelve H twenty two. O eleven that is sucrose on hydrolysis in presence of acid or H plus ions gives glucose and fructose. Okay, now if you see this sucrose is dextra rotatory and its rotation is ninety degrees and the glucose has rotation of plus fifty two point five. and fructose has rotation of 92 degrees but negative 92 degrees and overall this mixture becomes levo rotatory initially sucrose is dextro rotatory okay so the sucrose is dextro rotatory and the mixture is levo rotatory therefore this example is inversion of cane sugar another example of first order reaction is hydrolysis of methyl acetate in presence of acid so methyl acetate get hydrolyzed in presence of acid to produce acetic acid and methanol okay so these are two examples of first order reaction 